On the dish this morning, an ancient South American feast with a husband and wife team trying to reimagine the modern restaurant. Maria Rondo was an architect, Juan Ma Calderon a filmmaker. They had taken those artistic skills and transferred them to food, both in the kitchen and, as you'll see, underground. To see what they're up to, we traveled to Vermont for a pachamanca. Pachamanca means earth pot. It begins with a pit. Rocks are heated to a scolding temperature, while a bounty of meat, potatoes, and vegetables are prepped nearby. This is the three kind of meat that we're going to use today. Pachamancas are a Peruvian tradition going back hundreds of years. But Maria Rondo and Juan Ma Calderon have brought them to Vermont with a new restaurant, which doubles as their house. The notion of having a restaurant inside your own space where you are sharing or we're asking people or inviting people to come and share our own table or spend time in our own kitchen, um, in that sense, it's experimental because we're not sure where it all leads. Esmeralda is the couple's latest project following the popularity of Celeste in Somerville, Massachusetts. Esquire named Celeste one of the best new restaurants in America. Eater called it Boston's best restaurant of 2018. It's known for its modern twist on classic Peruvian dishes like ceviche and lomo saltado. Did the success of Celeste surprise you? Okay. Until now, every day. <laughs> every day we're surprised, yes. A restaurant was never the plan. Rondeau had found success as an architect. Calderon was a filmmaker. But they started doing dinner parties on weekends, with Calderon showing off the recipes his mother made him as a boy 4,000 miles away in Peru. At what point did you make the decision to make the leap from doing dinner parties to we're going to open a restaurant? Because the parties get out, out of control. I mean, <laughs> so we need to move to, we need to find a place where we cannot uh, disturb uh, the neighbors or even the kids, yeah. We had no idea what we were getting into. Everybody would say, no, that's crazy, don't open a restaurant. You have flexibility, you can travel. But we were, we were actually kind of yearning to, to set root a little bit. While Celeste is an urban experience, Esmeralda is a rural adventure in the rolling hills of Andover, about a four-hour drive from New York City. It's where we watched as the Pachamanca unfolded. Papas, all right, potatoes go in first. Potatoes followed by lamb, pork, chicken, vegetables, and squash, all placed around the stones in their own special spot. So now we're nearing the top. The last layer is going to be the mitas. Getting These close the... to the top. It's like building a stairway to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's topped off with corn and fava beans and a blend of fresh herbs, it's time to let the earth take over. You have to cover it all up again? Yep. Here, I'll do it. All right, go. That's the moment where the stones will be heated to the point that they can then be interspersed in the food and sear it. And then it will be covered in earth, and so it becomes a pressure cooker. So it's a, a combination between searing with the direct contact mm -hmm. and the vapor and the pressure cooking inside the cavity creating deliciousness. Creating a pachamanca. What is it about the flavor of the pachamanca that is so distinct? Um, it must be the, um, the time, the trust. All right, guys, Salud. we need to toast to Mother Earth. OK. Salud. 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 <laughs> After the pachamanca is blessed with booze, it sits Salud. for an hour. It's always amazed me the, the blend of of Peruvian food. Yeah, as the potatoes, they're like 5,000 different kind of potatoes, so we have a lot of uh, fish and seafood. And we, we also have food from the mountains, from the uh, Amazon. So you have all these altitudes to grow different things, and uh, yeah, and everything have a different flavor. Here it is, the unveiling. When our feast finally emerges, it's plated and served in all its earth-infused glory. Chicken, uh, sweet potatoes and potatoes, uh, pork, lamb, uh, more potatoes, carrots, squash, lima beans, corn, and, and a few sauces. And umitas in this one as well. All and cooked together as one big happy family. Yes, exactly. Look at this gorgeous palate. OK. So is it the moment to try it? It is. All right. Do we say anything special? Um, Juanma? 
Bon appétit. <laughs> bon appétit. Okay. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Fair enough. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. There is nothing about this that doesn't taste authentic. It's very different. There's no other way to describe it than... I have one adjective other than different. All right. Excellent. <laughs> so thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> Just an hour, Jeff? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's hot under the earth there. Yeah. yeah. Such a tie to the jerk. I mean, it's kind of amazing, and, right? And it all gets tied, cooked to the perfect temperature. By the way, we're gonna we're gonna top all this off. You got a bug in the studio. Yeah. yeah. Going, <laughs> going, after, going after our pisco sours. Nice. Th these are the pisco sours. So it's pisco lime juice, simple syrup, and egg white. You mix everything together by shaking it without ice. That makes the foam. Off, yeah. Then you shake it up again like eight to ten times, and you're ready to serve. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. 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 Yeah. We'll get a big hole going Pachamanga. outside. Mm -hmm. Pachamanga.